All right, yeah. there we go. Hey, what's going on, guys? We're live right now. Woo! I, I think we're actually low right now too. Are we also low? Yeah, it's it's like almost low. Well, it's it's so it's so side here that this should uh, be uh, disabled. So then yeah. now now that we're talking, now the uh, microphone should definitely be here. But well, right. the thing is, the levels I think. Oh no, the levels are actually pretty oh. pretty decent for us. I think they're pretty decent for us. Yeah, okay. they're pretty decent. All right, so there we go. So, ah, oh, there we go. Okay, everything's set up now. Like, finally good. I know, it's, everything's up and running. So, hey, what's going on, guys? We're back for another uh, episode of Cyber Insider. Hey, guys, uh, just to let you know, uh, we got some things coming up. We will only be doing shows on Tuesdays from now on. Uh, the reason for that is because it's become such a high demand to make this show quality. Uh, and to be honest, I agree with them on that. It's just the fact of trying to update you guys on news that you already know throughout the whole week becomes redundant and it's not as fun to watch us and like you know it's just it becomes regurgitated bullshit yeah and i will say that you can take that to the bank Aha. regurgitated bullshit regurgitated bullshit Word i don't think they accept that as currency maybe not in america but i definitely think in a video game world they will yeah possibly i can see that probably abe's odyssey that might be one. Yeah, that could be one. That could is be that one. a tie-in or something? Abe's Odyssey? Yes. No, Abe's Odyssey is actually a video game. No, I, how are you tying <laughs> into the video game is what I'm asking. Oh, is that Italian? Is that a tie-in to the... Oh, I thought you like, said thought Italian. Was, oh, oh, yeah, no, I thought oh, you said that no, Italian. No, 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 no. I was, I was saying, like, is that a tie-in to Abe's Odyssey? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, that was it. <laughs> it's like Italian. Why? How do I know, I was like, I'm like, why are, you, why are you bringing up Italian at this point? This seems like, really weird I mean, at this moment. I know pizza would probably be the bomb right now but pizza would be amazing I'm, I'm not thinking about pizza right now. anyway guys so what we're going to also be changing up is we're going to be more focusing on subjects that you guys can actually relate and talk to and actually give us feedback and we'll also be playing more of games so uh today we'll be playing actually Watch Dogs, and wow that is incredible how did that ever happen wow is that even possible at this point wow I don't think I see what you guys are saying. The count. Oh. Wow. Okay. Anyway, guys. Wow. Hey, oh, anyway. oh, I, I know what happened. What happened? Uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, so for everybody that's joining us right now, uh, it's one of those things that, you know, we wanted to be more focused on you guys, the gamers, and actually get stuff taken care of. You know, so that's what we're going to be doing. So this episode, we're going to mostly be talking about gift ideas for the uh, Tech Geek. Or people, you know, just PC, just, you know, Tech Geek. We'll just say the Tech Geek, because, like, saying PC Gamer, that it limits us that you can only buy a certain amount of games, and that's it. And, uh, I mean, it's really weird. Like, I mean, what? I was going to say, well, what about just the geek in general? Everybody covers the geek in general. Nobody covers the tech geek. I don't know, I feel he, like... He's shut... There is a whole store called thinkgeek.com. I know, but the thing is, like, tech equals tech geek. So, a technical geek. Not everyone that's into tech is a geek. See? I mean, I'm not... I don't even... Are we really going to just define these words right now? I was just trying you to say... You guys don't want to use words without... <laughs> with just reckless abandon. I was... Alright, fine. For people that are consumers that actually enjoy electronics, PC related, and gaming related stuff, <laughs> that's that what we'll so be focusing hard? on. Was that so hard? I wanted to use my buzzword, Michael, and you did not let me use it. Stop using buzzwords. Buzzword. Cheap cop outs. But continue. Ooh. Continue. Ooh, you get no feisty over there on the side of the cow. You want to host this? No. I'm saying continue. All right. Because you're making a point. Anyway, guys, yeah. so we're going to be talking stuff about more of, like, uh, gifts that you can actually buy to the people that you love in your life, you know, or spoil it yourself with that are pretty cool and actually kind of give you guys a description. But we're also going to be playing, you know, Watch Dogs while we're at it. But we're going to take a little bit of a, like, 15, 20 minutes before we really get into the video games because I feel like it's we just get into the video games. Yeah. yeah. But uh, besides that, how was your weekend, Mike? What did you do this weekend? Uh, this weekend, and I just did the Capcom Cup stuff. So I, I ran day one of Capcom Cup. It was here at the arena and then after that um, mainly just helped take stuff down because they moved to the 
the Anaheim Convention Center for day two or three because of the PlayStation experience and was just watching Capcom Cup and paying attention mainly to like balance changes they made to Street Fighter and announcements and stuff like that that Capcom was making for the fighting game community. And that was basically a good weekend for me. Actually, one of the things I thought was really cool. What Thank up, you. Wildcard? Oh, thought it was Kim. Sorry. What's up, Wildcard? Yeah, it is Wildcard. I uh, know you're not the only one here. It's just uh, it was really weird, but uh, I'll explain it later. But anyway, um, so so we also saw, I saw something kind of interesting while I was here for that mm -hmm. is that there was a uh, uh, was it one of the top players was a girl named Ricky. Ricky Ortiz, yeah. Yeah, I I was really surprised by that, and like how accepting the community was of her. Because she's well, not... she's been in the game, like she's been in the community for a long time, like back when before she even transitioned and all that, like when she was just Ricky, the dude that was just beating people. So now that she's the chick, like her skills obviously carried over because she's the same person, and people are still respect her because she's gotten top two at Evo before. Like she's won majors. Like people know that she's really good at, at she's really good at Street Fighter. So. She has people's respect regardless. Oh, no, 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 no. She's, no, I, I think it's really great because the simple fact is that with Ricky is that even before the transition to now, mm -hmm. it's the fact that in this community, a lot of people see like, you know, uh, it as like the fighting community as kind of like a Neanderthal kind of group when they're actually really smart people and more progressive. It's because we're not esports. We're our own entity. That's why I like the fighting game community. This, it's more authentic. It's more true to its origin and the and the, and the grassroots uh, methodology of spreading the word. And yeah. it's a it's an area in gaming where they don't. It's not inclusive because people may mandate it. It's inclusive by skill. Like if you're good, people will accept you because they have to. If you beat someone, you're better than them. They have to hold that. That's it's that simple. So and Ricky, uh, obviously, I mean, I guess I could understand the whole making strides for people based on you know representation but at the same point in time ricky's i don't even know that she's thinking of that when she's playing i think it's more like, like you can tell she genuinely has a passion for fighting games and it comes out in her play she plays she got second place in a cat Hunk up which is the biggest fighting game tournament outside of evo for street fighter so and this is not like a first time thing for her so <laughs> well, I, I didn't think it was it's just you can see a lot of emotions behind her and everything like yeah. that like she's very passionate but it's it's just like one of those things where a lot of people you know, will make little rude comments or say things. Oh, I mean, that's just, that's part of the. Oh, well, I mean, I, it's probably part of gaming in general. But that's part of the FGC because you got to remember it originated in the arc in the, in the arcade culture. In the arcade culture, you were doing whatever you could do to get your opponent off tilt because the winner is the only one that got to keep playing. Everyone else had to get off, go back to the, oh, the yeah. line, yeah, and you had to keep paying money to play. You the incentive was there to win so that you could keep playing and didn't have to spend money so exactly and i you remember those days. any insult you can to tear someone down and then once they beat you like you shake their hands you buy them food afterwards so and like i, I remember it's like all those quarters that used to get lined right exactly. across the oh, cabin and everything like that it was, yeah yeah oh it was God. it was very it was she, very wild she west was around the nickel nickel days man the she was around in yeah. that time so she like that i think that's part of, i think that's part of why um she has such tough, tough skin as well like she's an og she's not like a new age gamer that's like only been brought up in the online era so yeah i mean but you can you can see how vicious it is and then like plus the transition mm -hmm. and everything i think i i just was like going like mad props mad props like because it's just it's it's not easy when you go from being what everyone's seen you in the regular like eye to actually becoming you know who you want to be and that's and i think that's the, the, the main thing that makes me very proud about seeing like the fighting community is that like there is a lot of good respect right there for everybody, and it's just really supportive. A new breed of gamer. Yeah, I'll be honest, I never even really, th I don't really think about it, but I guess it's just because maybe I'm coming from a, um, a place of privilege, or I don't, I just don't care about stuff like that to me. No, I, you know what, I, I see it as like, you earned it and your gender didn't, doesn't have that's what any, it, yeah. that's what it's like to me, it's like, anything to she, do with the fact of the matter is she came up on her own on and her just own beat damn people, skill and just, beat people, and just so. fucking laid waste to people that's why I and understand. that doesn't necessarily that will very quickly take your gender out of the equation yeah i mean for some people it's not going to because they're always gonna want to hold on to some sort of excuse for getting yeah. their ass beat but you know it, it's gonna be one of those things like look when you battle your way up to the top, no one can say shit. Not to mention, fighting games has always been like an 
area where representation, like it, we didn't think about it because it's diverse. Like it's it's not as divisive as other genres of games based on things like uh, nationality or socioeconomic backgrounds. Like if you show up in an arcade, you're there. Like yeah. as long as you if you weather the storm and keep playing, you're part of it. So that's why you see such. Um, it's like I mean I didn't I like I didn't consciously think about it when you even when you when you were at Catcon Club you saw people from around the globe you saw people from different um, races different religions and all of that there are people who didn't speak English participating in the oh, tournament yeah. stuff like that you know yeah. and didn't matter like to me that's just cool because yeah. not is the language exactly it's 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 not cool just because we do that intentionally it's cool because that's just how it happens to work out it's it's an area where skill and results are all that matters if you win you are the flavor of the month you lose people will mock you and if you don't want to be mocked don't lose like, yeah it's, it's a very simple primitive um approach to things but it works out so i like yeah. to see that carry over to other uh, genres of gaming but yeah. i don't know maybe we'll get there eventually i don't know all right well with that said also amber how was your weekend what'd you do my weekend was pretty much spent catching up on sleep i'm starting a new sleep schedule because i got a a job. You got one of those yobs? Yeah, one of those yobs. It's like a silent J. Yeah. Like we can go yogging. Yeah. Yeah. So, started work as a dispatcher uh, last week and then having only a week of training and then this week I've been tossed into the fire. So, it's, I pretty much, I passed out and gamed, like gamed then passed out. So, what games were you playing then? Um, this weekend, well, I played the uh, the update for No Man's Sky. Check how, out how, how was that? Did that actually go anywhere, or was that just like... No, actually, well, I think it did go someplace. I think it's, uh, it's definitely more complete. It's more of what they had promised, and what I was hearing they had promised what the game was going to be like. They're, they finally added in crafting elements and being able to craft like a base and making a home planet. Um, there's tel teleportation stuff now that's really available, and uh, mercenary for hire type stuff. Mercenary uh, for hire, so you can actually have gunfights? Um, there is a uh, mercenary that will, I believe, guard your base. I haven't got to the point to build a base yet because you still have to... I think the only thing my biggest complaint is, and that's because I just like easy, so if you want something that's more of a challenging crafting survival type of a game, this is definitely it because you're not giving a crafting menu. You have to go out there, figure out how to put all this together. They'll show you only once, and if you haven't written that down, you're effed, which is the kind of boat that I'm in. Um, so <laughs> I'm trying to, and it's like, that's one thing I really wish they would have added because so many people did abandon the game and it took them this long to bring us that update. So there's not gonna be a lot of people who remember those recipes. Mm. If they did keep the game and didn't get a refund for it. So it's kind of like one of those things where you, you see like a game comes up with an outdate. What was it? Outdate. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what this would be because it's not really much of an update. It's just outdate. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. so what I think is, is that like it comes up with an update and it's just so far gone after lawsuits and other things. Like, yeah. does that even really matter to the user? I mean, like, do you think that's something that, you know, like as, as people that you would go like, oh, okay, I want to be playing this game. Although nobody's playing it, and the updates, you know, I mean, may have people that still play No Man's Sky. There's people who, there were people who defended. They it said that it dropped so. in a user scale less than a thousand. I'm not sure what that means. Like, like, like so, like, if we talked about like all, 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 all or, no, no, like all the users in the world, mm -hmm. there's less than a thousand currently. Like That's it is just super me. low. Like, so there's less than there's a th less than a thousand active players of the game. Is what you're saying? Yeah, I mean. Eh. I, and you know what? That that's for me. That's fine because you know what? There is the element now where you see where other players have been. It is mm. officially out there where you can see what has been claimed by other people. So they're missing out basically on the game finally becoming what it was supposed to be. That's their loss. Yeah, exactly. And then it kind of sucks too when you think about it. I mean, I guess that just goes to show the whole flavor of the month approach to gaming has yeah, dire not. consequences. Like it doesn't yeah. work when people just hop on the game because it's the newest game, yeah. and then jump ship to something else because it gets negative press or whatever and it's like i mean i'm not defending no man's sky at all because i mean i'm i'm not i didn't like how it looked when it actually finally came out but i wasn't super hyped up for it anyway so um to me i just know so many people who bought the game and they put like 30 40 hours into it and then required a refund and then demanded a refund and i'm like 
you've gotten basically what you would expect out of like 30 to 40 hours that's a complete rpg experience in a lot of games yeah and then you went and got a refund and you just missed out on the game finally getting a lot of the features that were um, promised or whatnot. Yeah. yeah, but see, even with an RPG, you still get some kind of action in between for you to actually enjoy the game. Mm -hmm. The harvesting of materials is basically a grind you see from Ark or any survival game yeah. that becomes monotonous over time. But what so, I'm saying is, like, those people that... I'm not, I'm not saying that the game was complete at launch. What I'm saying is that those people who invested that much time into the game, like, what was the point in leaving after 30 to 4 like if you played the game for an hour and you stopped okay i get it you figured out it wasn't your cup until you moved on yeah. but if you put 30 to 40 hours into a game and quit and then this kind of an update comes out it's like well you you're the only loser in that situation is you really you've invested so much time into the game yeah. to just not be able to see it as full potential and yeah. they promised that the updates and stuff were coming to yeah. improve the game so it's like i you know what it was a massive update how it, do you know how large this, uh, the file size was no, I don't remember how large it was, but so many of the factors of the game were changed, mm -hmm. and so much was added. It was just massive. Now, do you feel like they kind of took them like, you know, Cyrus approach to things, where they're now like they're like, oh, here's Osiris, so now we're gonna build it and do everything like this. Mm, I I don't quite know what that you know if it does or not. All I know is that. It's still very much kind of the same game that you've got and how everything looks. It just seems like in some areas it's now harder. Like resources are now more scarce. Okay. Mm. It's so you actually have to manage every little thing that you have. Mm. Um, uh, slots for additional items and additional materials is still, you know, hard to get and hard to come by. Um, to be able to build those extra slots and things. Yeah. Um, but, and that also puts more of a pressure to actually build a base. And uh, because you can now transfer uh, items that you find from your slots onto your base if you have a base. Hmm. But it takes material and all that kind of stuff to, you know, build up all these things to go to the right space station to find the right people in order to build a base. So you're still having to go out there and explore different space stations and find where these people are. And then remember where they are at. Because they're not all on one so space station. So they haven't even given you a map at this point. No, you have your star map and stuff like that. But it's, I would say it's immersive in the way of, if you were actually going out there in space and you're looking to build a, a base, if you go to a space station, it's not guaranteed that everything you need is going to be on that space station. Yeah. No, it's, no, I agree with that. So... I feel like it's immersive on, in that. Right, I feel like it's immersive in that fact, yeah. where you have to like, oh, okay, now I know I found these people. They're in this star system next to this planet or whatever. So I got to remember to go to this space station. Well, um, as much as I would love to say I would I'd actually be playing that, I have a too long list of what I need to finish. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I well, because like I had I just finished last night's State of Decay, uh -huh. which great game. That game was a very underestimated game, and I think it just, to play it finally, it was like, for what they had, they really made something fun. It felt like, a Walking Dead, like, oh, hey, Horde's coming. Oh, hey, can we go talk about something? Like, you were managing a base, and you actually could suffer when offline, your base taking damage, losing supplies, and it really had a good storyline. And the great thing is that, like, you didn't play one survivor, and you were stuck to that person. It was like, you could play multiple survivors, and you just rotated through the story, which I really enjoyed a lot about it. Like, and then they also had breakdown. Um, they had breakdown, which is basically you have to survive ninety nine levels, which is you just you just do all the missions and you get an RV, you move to the next level, but you can only take a certain amount of people with you. So then you have to like also sacrifice and let other people die. So I said at that moment, I'm like, I'm not going to play that part of the expansion because I don't I don't I don't need more like my heartstrings being pulled and like me crying about stuff. Because then I'm going to feel bad that if I left somebody behind on the other thing, I'm going to be like, like, no, not my bunny. Why would we leave? It's like, oh, God. Uh, so, um, no, I should play it. Dang. It's, it's really good on that. And it's it's pretty, like, getting the year one edition, like, I got it for 10 bucks. Yeah. So um, it was really good and it was really fun. It's got a very, uh, like, it's like a Grand Theft Auto uh, meets with zombies. Ugh. So you're, you're trying to survive and like you can build your bases, find other survivors, 
Um, it, it's really nice. I really enjoy it. But, um, but down the rest of my list, I need to finish Dishonored 2. Uh, we have Watch Dogs 2. I need to finish up, what else? Fallout. I need to finish up. You haven't finished Fallout yet? I haven't finished Fallout 4. So, uh, I need to finish Fallout 4. I had to restart over. That's why. Because I, I brought it from PC over and went backwards. Are you crying? I, no. The last I checked, I think I had 400 hours in that game. I have lost my... <laughs> I just I didn't want to keep playing it on my PlayStation. I got tired of it on my PlayStation because like it was like it was fine. And like now down the line, I want to complete the rest of the missions. What's going on, Pizza Pizza? How are you doing tonight? How are you doing, Pizza Pizza? And thank you for the host. Yep, thank you so much. So like when I when I see that, that's the kind of the interesting part about it. But um, so like Watch Dogs, that uh, Fallout, man, I'm just I'm trying to. I think I have one more game I'm totally leaving out. So it was you, Watch Dogs, Dishonored two, uh, Fallout, Skyrim. I beat Skyrim. I'm just replaying the remastered edition. I'm more upset that you haven't finished Fallout. I know. I'm, I'm upset at myself for not playing Fallout. Oh, Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> Uh, that's that's what I, uh, you say, man. That man. I've really enjoyed Final Fantasy 15 a lot. The whole storyline and everything, like, granted, the characters in contrast are kind of like hokeyish. Like, you know, it's like it's us four bros all riding together, and like their like their personalities don't seem like you would like you catch them in a room together. Like, you know, you, they just seem so separated, and they're just being forced to like protect the prince. I mean, that's kind of what Final Fantasy does, though. You take characters that are different, and some grabs. Uh, for all, I mean, it's, this is more rooted in reality. But usually, you take four very, four or five very different characters that have to come together for a root cause, and you build a team out of them and move forward. That's what? what's learning to me about fifteen. It was just like, because I didn't like thirteen at all. Like I hated thirteen. No, I didn't no like thirteen. There was no characters I could really dig, uh, rock with. I didn't like the dynamic. It was just, man, it was all over the place. Fifteen seems like it's like. It's, it's probably the most cohesive group of characters, as ironic as that's going to sound, since maybe 8, Final Fantasy 8. Okay. So to okay. me, I'm like, all right, cool. I'll, I'm definitely going to give that a play. Um, I'm just trying to finish Gears campaign and stuff like that first. And I'm definitely going in. And I'm supposed to get Last Guardian. I don't know if I'm going to get that anymore. I, you know, I After really... After gameplay, I'm like, no, this isn't like... So this is not like Shadow of Colossus at it's all. It's not, not at all, right? I don't, I don't and that's know. the concerning part about that. Like, you, you look at it and you're like, oh man, it's going to be like Shadow of Colossus. And we've been waiting for this. And it just feels like another one of PlayStation's it's unfulfilled just like deliveries. It's puzzles and over-emotional stuff. I don't like emotional stuff because I'm not an emotional person, so it doesn't resonate with me. So, like, wow. So, uh, <laughs> like, to me, it's just like half Feel the game. The prize. Let it out. Did feel the fries? I said cries. Why would I tell him to fill fries? That's said, why I asked. Fries have no emotions. I thought you said fries. Uh, That's why I well, asked. So for me, it was like with Last Guardian, it's like half the game to me just won't really stick. The, I mean, I like the puzzles. All of those kind of, all of that genre of games have like iconic and like fun puzzles. But like, I don't know, for 10 year delay, that's it. Just... Emotional roller coaster and puzzles. No, I'm good. You can miss me with that. Yeah, no, it, so. it, it, it's that's that's what I've heard a lot about it. Yeah. Sounds like uh, too much unfortunate cutting. It sounds like Lifetime TV. Like I'd be watching that all day. Lifetime. Oh, the Women's Channel. Oh God, no. Actually, it's no more the Women's Channel. It's just a channel of emotional. That's what they call it now. It's just emotional being. I guess they. It's the emo channel. It is literally like if you are an emo kid, that is your channel. Oh God. Lifetime. I, no, I, you know you have no idea how much I hate Lifetime. No idea. I think because growing up, that's all my grandmother and my mother freaking. Because they always showed movies about like, like oh take back God. your power, no, be no, the no. woman. You're just like no, no, no. It was always my daughter was kidnapped and raped, or she was murdered, and I have to find the murderer. You know, it was always something along those lines. So I wasn't allowed to ride the bus. At all, just to go up the fucking street because I was gonna get kidnapped and murdered, oh, and I was like, I'm I was a 220 like, pound 12 year old. Because you really, I'm the freaking the roly polies, the one that's gonna get kidnapped, just not the, the 30 poly. pound anorexic kid who oh. doesn't know what the fuck's going on. I just, well, I think, oh, I think it's funny because it almost sounds like an early like, uh, what is it, Law and Order, uh, <laughs> SVU. Yeah, that's like saying. that's what? that is like that's what Lifetime was leading up to was yeah. getting SVU. Yeah. Yeah. It's like storyline. Like, like this is gold. Let's was, write it. Like, <laughs> and SVU, and I'm like, wait, every episode is about this. I don't want to watch this. <laughs> that is literally what SVU is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like every episode. I, like, I don't want to watch it. Every episode makes me. 
This is it. Just I'm like, oh, so every episode is just gonna make people look like me look like villains. All no, right, see, but the thing was, I actually had coworkers. I had a coworker, a girl, who would actually use that as her prawn. She would watch, and it and it was very specific. Wait, what? It was she would she would. Let, to flicker, that flicker man lived in the what? in the boat. Yeah, no. So and, and and like and this is where it got weirder. She flicked her little bean in the boat to basically child stuff, All and right. not yeah. and not and not and not just like any kind of child stuff. It was like it was like hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me clarify because I don't want this to turn into like people are like pedophile. Like yeah, I'm like whoa. It's, she liked the idea of a younger girl and older man. So like she didn't like the the childlike stuff. It was just the. The, the contrast of age between differences. Okay. So, because she in her life had had that happen to her. And I was going like, wow, you, wow. That's and it, and it really floored me to going like, what is that? Like, so, as for you, yeah, wow. That, that is happening. Anyway, guys, let's, let's, let's turn back to a more yeah, anyway, a festive holiday. Games! So, guys, we're going to play. Games. We're, yeah, we're gonna play games. Uh, so right now, guys, we're gonna play uh, Watch Dogs Two. Okay. Uh, now, who would like to? Play? You want to play, Mike? No. No. Watchdogs? Do you want to play Watch Dogs Two? No, I have zero interest in Watch Dogs Two. Mm, how about you play? I always seem to it's be the game. It's your thing. game. Well, yeah, why don't you? Okay. Play? All right. All right. I'll play the game. Play. I just, I didn't want to be rude in this fact. But anyway, while we're doing that, we're also gonna talk, guys, about Christmas ideas. So if you guys have some great Christmas ideas or gifts that you want to talk about. Let us know of like tech related things. You know, we have there's a lot that we can actually go through. I'm opening up the chat so I can see the chat better. Yeah. Dear dear Lord, Mike. Well, I'm opening up the chat so I can see the chat better. Alright. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna pull this closer. I'm gonna pull this closer. Why is it showing um, the chat? Hmm. So uh so one of the things let's kinda start this off with the Christmas idea is that uh so as you guys as the consumer, what do you look for every Christmas? And what gifts do you guys oh. usually go like, hey, I think that's a solid buy and we should be getting it? Because we were looking through a lot of gifts and we saw a lot of different things. Some being weird, some being cool. It, it varied between the techie stuff. Like um, like they were talking about the Amazon Echo Dot. The Echo Dot. I haven't heard of the Dot. Is it just like the well, smaller version of the Echo? Yeah, basically. And it actually is more affordable for like consumers instead of like... Pay $150 for something well, that, like, works with your house. Yeah. I mean, well, it's nicer that it's more affordable and, and things like that. But I don't know. If, is it really a necessity to get one? I think that's really where, with tech, you have to kind of be like, all right, is this really just for the luxury of the item? Or is it because I can actually use it in, in my life? Because I think that's part of what tech is. Tech solves a unique pain in your life to make it easier does the echo really solve that i don't i don't know if the echo really solves because like smart homes is it to, like in just just pure this is a luxury item well i think like smart smart homes alone i feel that's a luxury item like yeah. hey turn off the power instead of me just turning off a light switch mm -hmm. you know like i mean i don't i don't know if i've reached that point of laziness yet maybe when i'm 50 or 70 I mean, it's not necessarily you, laziness. If you have a completely smart house, you can add, um, you can regulate temperature uh, in it more accurately, save money at the end of the end of the year, and possibly lower the impact that um, humanity has on the, uh, the ecosystem of the Earth in terms of pollution and whatnot. So okay, so but if that's benefits, but, but if that's it's expensive though. Well, so the other thing too is if that's true, then how do we know 100 percent? Like, I mean, because I've seen a lot of times when they talk about stuff like that, like it's all right, hold on, guys. We're just switching over to the game. But I know when they talk about stuff like it being eco-friendly and people mm -hmm. being able to uh, actually use it for certain things, to me, it, it always it seems a little bit rough around that point because. Uh, What's up, Joy? I didn't even see you in here. That's good, man. Sorry, continue. No, no, no it's all right. Uh, so what happens is, uh, it it just seems like it is really. How, how do I explain it? Um, it seems I don't know. It seems a little bit. Like it's not user, it's not very friendly to the consumer that it doesn't have a lot of money because if you don't have the money to spend for like smart lights, for like you know uh, Nest or any of the other th products that are out there or smart or was it DoorBot or anything like that, mm -hmm. you like spending dollars on a thing that should control all of it kind of seems pointless at that point. Yeah, and then the other half of that is too is like the security risk of it. How safe is Echo? I mean, if you have something like that allows it to you know 
unlock your doors and stuff like that. And not necessarily saying it's Echo, because I know that there are other applications and programs and things mm -hmm. like that that have, like, smart locks for your house so you can let your kid in or whatever. And, you know... I mean, how, how safe are locks on your door now in your house? I mean, that's very true. But at the same time, it's kind of like... It, it's the same... It's like the same idea with... Plus, honestly, even like if I had smart banking, locks, like I would still I, have regular locks in my house. I'd yeah. have both. This is very true. All right, so let's let's see how we look here in the watchdogs. Made metal flies. Metal then, flies. I don't know what the hell Joy's talking about right now. What about metal flies? All right. Um, but no, can you also imagine like getting to that point where it's like Skynet, and now your freaking Echo is like just fighting back with you now? The AI just gets like so developed up to that point. We were like, fucking a Echo, just turn on my bath. No, John. You're going to stink today. You cursed at me. I I, you know? I I would be scared. I think people attribute a lot of humane, like responses to AI. Like if, even if AI did become anonymous and like Skynet, like the things that it would do and the manners it would do them wouldn't be human, which is probably what scares people. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously we're limited to our perception of reality and uh, and interactions between sentient beings based on the our own interactions. But an AI construct wouldn't do that. Like an AI construct would have to have a reason for doing something because it's all logic. In fact, that's probably what scares us about that is that you have a being that supremely would always be right in a debate with us because it's always grounded in logic and human humanity as a collective is hyper emotional and irrational. So I would be all fine with Skynet happening. But then again, that's probably because Ironically, I think I'd get along better with the AI construct. Are you just ready to get virtually laid? I wasn't even thinking of it that way. I was just thinking in terms of... Think of how efficient it would be to have roads where people aren't driving. You have AI driving. See, but I don't I'd know. I'd rather that. Have but you seen I, but people... I, ever since I moved to California, I see a car accident, no joke, every day. Every day? Yeah. That's not supposed to happen. Like, what are you doing... That you can't drive. I, I don't well, get that. But then again, I also think, too, how many cars are on the road comparison to where you were living before? I was in Chicago. That's mm. great. But Chicago is still, even though it's a massive city, it's in a state smaller than this one and less dense than... An, than yeah, but Chicago itself is like a large state. There's tons of cars on the road. City. It's the second one, or, or city, or not state. And <laughs> it's what, second, third population in America? Like, and it's a tourist trap. There's always people in Chicago. Mm. Like, Lakeshore Drive, it's not even a full highway. It's just one strip in Chicago that's world-renowned because there's always cars on it, and it gives you this beautiful view mm -hmm. of the, the city um, shoreline in Lake Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. So I come here, and it's like, why are people such worse drivers here than there? Houston is another location. That's top five population in America. They have to drive in Houston. There's no public transit there. They don't even have uh -huh. sidewalks in Houston. Like no, everyone yeah, driving. They have, under, they have under what, like underground. Yeah, like, everyone you know. legitimately yeah, drives in Houston. Yeah, and because nothing. everyone drives in Houston, I actually found that people in Houston are better drivers than even people in Chicago. Yeah, but then mm. you but I came hop over here. to Dallas and it's absolutely horrible. And money. I've never been to Dallas, so yeah, I'll take your no. word. Yeah. Uh, so Dallas is. So I think it's depending upon where you're living at. But because here's my thing. If you had AI, mm -hmm. it would just be consistent. I won't have to say, oh, I'm going to this city. Time to get time to get rear-ended yeah. randomly while I'm in a traffic light. I won't have to worry about that. That's true, Droid. Yeah. And they already have cars. Like, doesn't Google Drive already start doing the... the, uh, the, the yeah, um, Thomas driving the Yeah, truck. like, they've already been testing it. And they've been testing it. Uh, Tesla's been testing it and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's just, you know, unfortunately, it does not work unless... Everyone is switched over to that. Is but true? that's and that's what I want to happen. I don't want regular people driving. I know that most of humanity, and this is gonna sound pessimistic, most of humanity is stupid. Like people are really, really stupid. Like I know a lot of stupid people. Hell, I don't even consider myself to be smart. I'm not that. I'm not that bright. So if well, we could just Steve have, did say that human race only has like a thousand years left? And that's probably being generous. Extinction. That's probably being really generous. We probably have about forty years. I'm just go ahead and say we're probably gonna be done. We won't see 20, 2200. Humanity's pretty stupid. We'll yeah. nuke ourselves. I don't know. I don't but know. We, when that heartstring cord gets pulled, a lot of people tend to go like, you know what? 
maybe I don't want to die today, you know, so. I just want us to get to the point where, yeah, like even Joy said, the benefits, like the speed limit can go up so you could actually safely get to locations faster. Yeah. Like, there's a reason trains are still in use now, even though we have planes to go everywhere. Yeah. Because trains are still more efficient to get to locations than driving them, driving there because they're safer. The trains crash way less often than cars do. It's more streamlined and it's not. It's almost automated. Yeah, there's a train driver, but I mean, he or she is basically there to make sure that the power button is on. Yeah. They don't do much more than that. They make sure there's no debris in the way, stuff like that. We're gonna get to that point where I'm gonna step into a train and there's gonna be like an Android standing there. And I don't mean like a phone, I mean like an actual Android. Ask me where I want to go, and then I'll plug my phone or whatever device I interact with in, no, take a nap, a wake up, and I get there. I've actually seen it. There is a concept of something that's basically that. There's not even Android there. It's quite literally, it looks like a freaking egg. Okay. It's between either a one-seater or two-seater or something along those lines. So they okay. haven't quite gotten to, you know, they're, probably, they're still trying to, yeah. Get that whole shape on. And literally has no windows or anything like that. And I'm you're just okay. locked into this little egg looking thing Solitude with your is great to me. smartphone I'm fine with or whatever that. and it's like a personal train yes like it's perfect for the introvert it's perfect no for me no interaction with anybody I don't have to worry about weird people all right all right anti-social people Jesus. <laughs> anti-social I just <laughs> I'm just saying like I prefer efficiency like I'm, I'm a very efficient person I like efficiency I, when things are inefficient even with masturbation now, I, I, why do you keep going to masturbation? I'm just saying. You said efficiency. Yes, That's I'm right. saying in terms of what, like I. That, I just I like to apply get, when people use. Ter- okay, so if you, there's a way that every day I can get to and from work 15 minutes way. faster, I want to do that. If there's a way that I can ensure that, if I go to a restaurant, I can be seated and fed 20 minutes faster every time. Let's do that. Okay. Because that just you only have 24 hours. So, but because in a you're day. more, you're more focused on yourself then. Well, everyone is in the end of the day. Every, everyone only has 24 hours in a day. You have to sleep a third of that. And most people have to work the, another third. That's two-thirds of your day gone. And out of those two-thirds, you still have to account for um, things like dress, travel to and from work. If you have kids, forget about it. Like, that's the rest of it. You know what I mean? Like, when am I going to get time to do stuff that I actually enjoy? And not even just me, myself, but even if it's me interacting with other people. Like, I want to be able to... Imagine if you could tack on an extra hour a day, a 25th hour, just to play video games. This is the most lively, lively we've seen him yet. I know, I know. I'm just saying. He's very <laughs> passionate about it. So as we're talking about that, guys, uh, so here is uh, Watch Dogs 2. It says, welcome to DeadSec Asphyxiation. What was it? Hone your hacking skills with the Ubisoft Club by unlocking exclusive club rewards. Join your oh. friends in co-op operations. Hack and hunt down the members of Prime 8 around the world online play get the exclusive white hat suit cherry custom car skin and makeshift stun gun skin unlock the extra cash and research okay yeah that's good thank you uh do you want to open the ubisoft club application no yeah. i want to play a damn video game that's what i'm doing so uh as, as far as that goes so what other like uh have you guys seen any great things that you saw that would like be like a great christmas gift i know i was telling you about it earlier which was like I'm not one for watches or getting like a smart watch. I really don't see the point of it. But as we were talking about Fallout earlier, and I have like at least 300 hours in that dang game, just in Fallout 4, um, I had seen the, uh, what is it, a smart watch with the Android, and you can actually get the, uh, what is it, the Pip Boy 3000 mod for your smart watch. And I'm like, oh, I think I need this. You don't need it. You have no, you have no idea. I think I do need it. No, no, it's, it's a need. Pro- you have a problem. It's a need. You don't need that. <laughs> it's it's a need. You have a problem. No, no, no. I think I think it's a need. I I'm think hearing... I need to be f- fully immersed into like Fallout. It does not sound like a problem. Um, it sounds like a crack it addict, indeed. Like, yeah, no, it no, like it's it. not. No, it's not. I just want a legitimate, you real know, life. And it, it's, it'd be one thing if and... it was like a fictional world that was great. You want to be immersed in a fictional world that's supposed to be positive. <laughs> That's like literally a failure. You want that. Yeah, because it means our own life right now. We just haven't blown ourselves up yet. Hopefully we don't. It's to bypass the security doors and get inside. So you don't know. Then find an erasing personal CTO. Who wants three years around the corner? Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And more than likely, I'm sick of getting harassed. All the more reason for a purge. 
marriage. Also, we're going back to Fallout 4, to up, as the call was with China. Together, so, between the US and China. Hope you like it. Closer. Closer and You're closer. not supposed to want the events of Fallout 4 to happen. No, I don't really want them to happen, but at the same time, if it wasn't, it's incredibly fun. I don't know, I'm listening to both of you guys as, I, as I'm- as But I'm, no, so I- that's one- that's like one thing I want. I also, because I've been wanting to switch off of, uh, the iOS. Like, I'm getting so sick of Apple's bullshit. Like, well, I'm, you might as well stay there. Because apparently Samsung already announced, um, that on the Samsung Galaxy S8, they're gonna, too, do away with the phone- the headphone jack in their phones. Oh my god, no! The Galaxy and the iPhone have been copying themselves each other so much they're the same headphone. And at least iPhone has stability, so you might as well just stick with that. I don't want to stick with iPhone. You don't have a choice, you do have a choice, but it's gonna suck. I know, it's just god damn it. This is why I wanted Windows mobile phones to do well. And people said, no, screw them, we don't well, want to do that. What do you think well. of the Google Pixel? I mean yeah, it's basically a, it's basically a Samsung S7. Mm. Slightly different camera. It's not bad, but I don't like the I don't like the S6 and forward on with Galaxy. Like the last one, that's why I got when I upgraded my phone I went to a five. Yeah. A oh, that's right. came down from. And B, how did you not die from that? Anyway, A was cheaper, and B, I still had the I'm features super the benefits hacker. of how does that? Whatever. And B, <laughs> it gives me the benefits I want of an Android. Like I can still change my battery if my battery messes up. I can use ex external memory along with internal memory. I don't have to. And I can plug a damn headphone jack or a headphone into my headphone jack yeah. and use it. I don't have to decide before I, between whether I'm going to charge my phone or if I'm going to listen to music or talk on it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. As I, things I get better, too. they seem to get worse. That sucks. And, and yeah. more expensive. That's like nothing but. I don't like the dongle idea. Like, that's just fucking stupid. That's why stupid. I'm not really... Smartphones... That's why I was never on board with the whole, oh, smartphones are going to become the next great platform for gaming. No, oh, yeah, not, no, no, no. stupid. Yeah, mobile, having a mobile phone for gaming just seems like a bad idea in general. No, yeah, it, because, like... It that could just work, seems... but there's no stability, and they yeah. come out too often, and they keep cutting out features in the Ooh. name of improvised, but they're not really improvising anything. Yeah. It's more a way of making more money. I think just money. for me, it's like... If you're playing a damn game on your phone, battery life is already for crap on phones. Yeah. And for cell phones, what if you're like right in the middle of like let's say uh, like a terminator or something like that, mm -hmm. and your phone dies? Yeah. You're fucked. Well, if as we're talking about stuff like that, that was one of the things we were also taking a look at for like the chic uh, person on the go. Most trendiest is they now have tote bags that you can buy that actually have little uh, USB cables to charge, uh, what is it, your phone. So that they, would require me to walk around with a tote bag, and I'm not doing that? So, uh, I don't know. This <laughs> I it was, it was, it charger. feels like that one's geared towards the female tech savvy. Well, person. no, no, it's, it's, this is male too, see right there. Well, you yeah. gotta remember, they have man purses too now. So yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, you still won't catch me rocking one, sorry. Exactly, <laughs> so I don't, I don't think I can do rocking one. Yeah, I don't think any. Hipster most, male. Uh, I, don't, I know hipsters that won't rock a damn man. Well, no, I, I've seen one. It's literally. Like it over the shoulder, holding oh, it. He clutched it when I walked by. Like Dude, full on woman. Like yeah. You know what? We're gonna actually make a briefcase. Get okay. like a cool like freaking briefcase. It's all, like all fashion chic and do the same damn thing. I guess, but I mean, what are you really keeping a briefcase nowadays? Most of those papers and no, documents, they, they're electronic now. No, but actually make it like a laptop case. Make it look like a that I could see. Uh, yeah. A briefcase, but you combine it in with a uh, you know portable. Yeah, yeah, that I could, that yeah, I would yeah. rock with. Yeah. Hell yeah! Just bring your equipment with you, or whatever. Have cool. they been explained yet how this dude's Pat military Dan trained? No, nah, they haven't explained anything like that. Okay. But apparently, I'm gonna take my cell phone. I'm gonna hack stuff. And I'm gonna hack things with my cell phone. Am I taking a picture of it? Not hacking works at all. Man, Instagram is everywhere. You just gotta let it happen, bro. Instagram will hack your life forever. <laughs> Look at that. Now, I'm now. waiting today when we make a game that actually Why shows that hackery, like hacking right and, and accurate portrayal. That'd be dope. Like, uh, I don't know. Google phone. I have the One Plus One. Look, it's like stuck Which in one butt. is that one, Droid? You have to link me to that. I don't, I don't think I've seen that phone. Which phone is it? The the, the One Plus One. The One Plus One. And that's right. I don't know. The One Plus. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure the out the first version of the One Plus. I think that's what he's saying. Huh. I've never heard it. 
It's a Google phone, though. Open the hackable doors. Okay. It says tap. What am I tapping here? Oh. Oh, that's it. I just I just tapped it. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm sitting like probably just. You're the wasting door your time. Well, it seems like they're paying very close attention right now. Everything. Look, oh, high He's tech not feature. In. We still record video in the same way. Exactly, we've been recording video for 60 gotcha. years. Yeah. All right, with like so 10 frames per second. What? He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already. Well, -uh. no synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens. Video games. Just, just not into just the aliens, aliens, eh? This, oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with alien the alien thing? Oh, 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 is that a yo yo? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, what is he that using? Looks like... I mean, yo yo is a weapon 400 years ago, but still. The home domain awareness. I was thinking, what was it? That, that parable yes. or whatever I in the Bible about yeah, the giant it was... swings the swing shot. Yeah. The so that's what they keep. Thing. That's what they kept showing in uh, the PlayStation. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's like PlayStation uh, commercial. Is like they had something with on on a rope that said something. I was like, is it trying to hint towards me? Tell me something. Am I missing something? OnePlus is the Chinese company, and right now they have the OnePlus 3T, which is their newest, but they're super nice, simple phone. You know what? There's another company. There's another Chinese company phone. I forgot the name of it. My boy was, my boy Jay was talking about it uh, two weeks ago, and like currently it's super cheap. That was gonna be the next phone I actually upgraded to. If I remember the name, I'll bring it up. Like, yeah. It looks simple enough. Had all the features of an Android phone because you know China's not stupid. I like mm -hmm. Chinese tech. People they get a bad rap, but. That economy, that economy and that workforce has improved drastically in the last half century. So. Well, it's because they got so much money coming to them now as well. Yep, straight from our pockets. Hi. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. I'm still trying to figure this out right here. It's a thunderbolt. You knocked him unconscious. No. Oh, the weapon you've used, you're talking about? Yeah. It's, a thunder, it's called the thunderbolt? Yeah. But it's telling me to get to the other room. It says shut down the server tower. I'm like, okay. So I'm supposed to be able to hack things. My thing is going like another Chinese. Company. Yeah, no, I've I've heard it before. Xiaomi is another Chinese company. I don't think that was them. Maybe Just find was. access key to unlock. All right, so that's not gonna come from here. What is this music? I don't know. All right, so that's there. Background music, I'm assuming. <laughs> Thank you. Andrew. You're welcome. I'm, I'm assuming that was the key card for me to get through the door. So we're yeah, gonna find out now. Server. Yeah, it says find the key card for it. Where do you think they would hide this? Should guard be should be in someone's pocket. Yeah, I would think it'd be in a pocket. Hey, hey. You've uh. already checked them, so I don't know. Maybe there's another way. Yeah, I can't, I can't go back outside. That's a random. Wait, this won't let you go through that door? Yeah. No, there's no way they would do that. They would just an invisible wall that blocks you. Oh. No, there's a door right there. Yeah, no, but like it won't let you open it. No, it won't. No. I'm still trying to figure out where the key is because I just searched that guy. It's not on a desk. It's not on a desk at all. Oops, sorry. I'm just trying to think. Mary, Mike, can you grab me a life. Snickers, please? They go, what? Um, can you grab me a Snickers, please? Death Snickers. Oh, why? I don't think that was it either. Yeah, I don't think so either. All right, there has to be something here for me to pick up. I thought it'd be something to do. Mm. 
<sighs> so what's going on? Uh, so besides that, guys. There's no more Snickers. Oh, really? Yeah. What do they have? Twigs. If I have actually M&M's, uh, peanut butter? <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I love you. Make you go get candy for you? I just need something to spruce up because I, for some reason I just got hit feeling like I was super tired and everything like that. Oh, yeah. No, I get you. you get so know. what other great buys do you think are out there? Because, I mean, we were looking at quite a few things for last minute. Ki I mean, like, I know people are, like, crazy about the Nintendo right now. Yeah. <clears throat> so. There, um, what was it? I saw the uh, N64 uh, USB gamepad for the computer. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought, but then again, that's for me, like, uh, I think what you have to, like, use a mirror or something like that in order to be able to play your N64 games and something along those lines on the computer. But, um, that'd be fun. I mean, that's something it's for me. Like, my N64 was, like, the best system for me. N64? Yeah. The Nintendo 64. I mean, you know, you had the Atari, the Super Nintendo. Well, Super Nintendo was really when I got into gaming. My family had the Super Nintendo, so I grew up playing, you know, Zelda on the Super Nintendo. Then... It was into the N64, but I think, like, I don't know. There's just this amazing fondness when it comes to the N64. I like how you like the amazing fondness. Fondness. Are you fondling balls when you do that? Are you just... Fondling the nuts of Nintendo. Just, you know, Mario's golden ball sacks, you know. The brothers. And, and how do you know his, he, has, he has golden ball sacks? I mean, he's got to put all those coins somewhere, right? It's true. <laughs> I, like I, like I like how you had to like think about that. What happened to the ball sack? Right, um, uh, K four hundred plus a wireless keyboard. And what Cheap, kind of, but so worth it. But uh, plus, what is the K four hundred plus? Yeah. Um, mouse and keyboard from the uh, what does that say? Bed or bathroom? Wait, what? I'm the better bathroom. I'm, I'm looking right now. At, it's something that I, I own. Oh, okay. And I'm wondering how much this cost says it, it, it's, because it's a DDR5, which I have, a GTX 980. And I'm like, okay, cool. So if you add it to the cart, how much is it selling for right now? It is now currently selling for... I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't think... What? what uh, I don't want any of that stuff. All right, let's see how much it comes out to. Five hundred dollars for my graphics card. Damn. Five hundred dollars right now for my graphics card. That shit is out of control. Wow. I mean, right now a lot of people. Hi guys, that you can actually find is actually uh, the graphics card, the GTX uh, 1050. Oh yeah, it's on sale. Um, I think it is currently on sale right now. You can actually find it and. See, what I think is the interesting part, what a lot of people don't, like, pay attention to is that the GTX uh, 1050 is really helpful. Uh... Oh, wow. That's pretty interesting. Right? Is it, like, cloak now, or...? Uh, it's, bas oh. it's basically saying this. An X to hack cameras. So, like, then what I want to do next is look at them. And I, I don't know. So, but it's hidden the has on them, right? Apparently. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, this is the Logitech. Oh, okay, gotcha. An RX 480, same price, and out was it outperformed? It is eight gigabytes of TV. Oh, you don't have to bag on my stuff. I was just saying. <laughs> Man. Uh, no. Was it also? Uh, I think it was by. Yes, I'll take some nutty M&Ms. But, um, what was the, uh, whole, was it by uh, Alienware? No, it wasn't by Alienware. It's another one of those. What, I need to get into our Discord server because they posted it up in there. Uh, it was the, uh, keyboard, it was the wireless keyboard and mouse that they put out, whatever. So you can kind of like, instead of being tied in, you, it was all wireless and stuff. That was another one that looked kind of neat. I won't disagree with you. Uh, 
Oh, that is so weird. And you can hack it from there. Wow. So that is that is that is the hacking of that. That is a long range hack. That is very much so a long range hack, but we're gonna find out right now. Let's see how it looks at this. No, it works. Oh, nice. Uh, All right, so uh, besides the graphics cards, the 1050 and the RX. Now, do you guys, the other thing I was going to say, there's some other cool stuff that are out there right now. You know, this year for 2016, there is really actually not a lot of great gift ideas to buy. Like, No. I mean, it's very limited. It seems like Amazon is really pushing all its fire stuff. Yeah. I mean, we saw some pretty cool things that were out there. Yeah. I don't know. It's, I'm still trying to pull up all the stuff that I say. But, uh... Oh, and this is it. It's the it's Razer. It's the Razer turret uh, RZ84. Oh, that's right. Uh, for living room gaming. Uh, it's like 150 mouse. bucks. Right here, it's telling me it's 139.55. Okay. What, Amber? You can game what? and play? Oh, my God. Wow. Oh. Well, can't you believe it? Sorry. Well, the way they have it set up, it's almost like <laughs> it's almost like this right here. Yeah. Like how, and see, what's funny is my company was talking about like if they made this, they were asking, mm -hmm. would they like would people want to buy it? And so that's why one thing I want to ask you guys is that I'm gonna be posting a photo up of this, but it's basically a pad that sits up here. Yeah, it's like you can manage it. it. It's like um, it's like a pad like this, but it has the keyboard embedded into it. As well as you have like an extra piece over here where your like quote unquote traditional almost looking uh, mouse pad would go, but it's all one board. And I think that would be cool. I would like that. I don't know, but at the same time, it's kind of like I also I'm one of those people with my keyboards. I like to hear the click. I like the the uh, is it, it's mechanical or whatever mm. that that pressure. I like that pressure. Yeah, I like play. mechanical keyboards. It's just like going up where they were there. Yeah, exactly. I like the mechanical keyboard. Oh no, it makes me feel good when I when I can hear myself typing really fast. I feel super smart for some reason, even though I'm not. I'm just like You just get that thing on and it's like da dun 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 da 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 You just like you're like, hmm, yes, Mr. Jeeves. I like to have tea in the study. I'm super smart. I'm super smart. And all it's like all across it is just a bunch of random letters that you've just typed. <laughs> it's you know, yeah. They never led anywhere. Yeah. It it's like four no words or anything like that. Just gibberish. It's like four minutes later, like you didn't you didn't accomplish anything. Yeah. You right. were just typing a bunch of random things right there. I'm pretending I'm a coder. I'm Bob Martin. I used no. to do that on purpose. I would like to type things to make it sound like I was being super smart. <laughs> I think we all went through a phase where we did that at some point. All right, the keyboard becomes the clicky thing of your life. Yeah. No. Well, anyway, guys. So it looks like the Razer turret is that something everybody's looking towards. So kind of describe it and tell us what, like, what, why you feel it would be a good buy. And well, for me, like for me personally, I think. You know, with me doing the streaming and stuff like that, uh, for the games that I do use mouse and keyboard for, it's very hard for me just to constantly for five hours sit, you know, up like this in game. This is very tiring, and then you're putting on a show and all that kind of stuff. For me, it's very much I don't want to curl up into my my chair like so and do stuff from here and just get really comfy and you know play my games and stuff like that. And I like that maneuverability. To be able to kind of shift into a position that's comfortable for me and be able to uh, game that way. As well as if I'm writing or doing something along those lines, I'm going to be the same way because I want to be comfortable. And it's kind of hard when you're like got a cord attaching you to something. Same thing with like um, my art stream nights. It's super freaking a pain in the butt in ski to have that cord there and I can't easily communicate with people and stuff like that so I guess for me that's more of a reason why I would get it because it would just be easier for being more portable and all that kind of stuff and it's all in one see I'm not gonna have to agree with you I think I think having that keyboard... looks nice <laughs> oh, I don't get it's it it's sleek as fuck <laughs> <laughs> that was like the first thing it was like and it's sleek as fuck love it 
Mm-hmm. You know, so and that and that's and that actually is a good deal. Like, no, I mean like for PC, yeah. I was trying to think of like a lot of great ideas, but I was like, during the holidays you want to mostly see some really cool stuff. You don't really want things that people will buy it. Hey, do you want a pair of tube socks? Like, no, I'm not I'm not mm. Like if people buy me practical, I kinda get a little moody about stuff. Like yeah. I, I want something that like I wouldn't get. Like if I go to Target and I can buy it that day, I don't want it. I, you know, I know people are like, oh, no, practical makes sense. I want practical because... And I, I get that aspect of people saying, I want to use practical. I, I, I really do. And I, I that's totally fine. But for me, I am not... He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the dead tech IRC, and he's got crap. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's really been able to delete their phone. CTOS so like, profile. Me, like, I want to see if he's smart, for... stubborn... Games would really work out for me. Well, see, like, gaming on phones is really difficult. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, 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 Can you guys kind of tell that I'm a little upset, uh, obsessed with uh, Fallout? <laughs> Play it everywhere? Always with me? Go look over there! Um, <laughs> Ah, I just got shot in the easiest mission of the game. Damn it. Uh-oh. Ra- uh, Razor made the best mice I ever owned, though. They do make some really good mice. I really do like Razor's mice. I actually prefer them more than anything. Razor's mice are like my my, my, my gift. Like, if you guys don't have a, re- a Razor mouse, the great thing about Razor is that when they produce their products, they actually first high-end market, and you go like, budge, I can't buy that. But later down the line, they mark it down like I used to own one of the Death Adlers, upgraded to um, a Chroma, mm-hmm. and then I upgraded to um, a Naga, and that's what I use right now. A Naga is the best thing for me because it has uh, literally like ten keys, so you can uh, program them. So like if you're playing like any like MMOs or anything, they're just see? right there on the side. Like. Oh, that's I, I don't think I could use stuff like that just because I'm a classic bun smasher. So there's no that that takes precision. And like even with texting, I'm like bad at hitting the right fucking uh place that I need to in order to spell the dang word right. So like having like ten things on the side of the, the mouse it just sounds like nothing but tear town for me. I'm not a noob. Leave me alone. I'm a gaming god. Deal. He was raised in Oakland, but was born in. <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the dead tech IRC, and he's got crap. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the ah. hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see he's smart, stubborn, or both. Get yourself up. Gotta check it out. Oh, it's like other things. Well, there's what a lot. Is, like, what is like? How about this? What is, what is the best Damn it! I got shot again. Uh, Christmas gift you ever got? Well, the best techie Christmas gift I ever got. Well, the thing was, I was, I was, I'm looking into more of like, what kind of tech gifts uh, would you want to buy a person? Um. Well, what made it a good gift for you, like? You know, my parents were really never great about giving gifts. No. <laughs> I, I literally got gifts I did not want. Uh, it took years for them to actually deal? get me he something I wanted. was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the dead tech IRC, and he's got crap. Um, Figured we'd give him a test drive. On, on the hardest difficulty, like nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, like other stubborn, tech gifts, or both. Things like that that I would actually really want and really use like i think my biggest one is probably that dang smartwatch so i can get a pip i think I, yeah i was gonna say like your smartwatch obsession is really what does you in yeah that that's that's the only thing i want for christmas i'm all like is that really all what you want for christmas <laughs> well i mean if i can get a, a better you know graphics card and or upgrading the pc some more hell yeah let me do that um
it's like for me it was like a it was like razor products though it's like Damn it. Um, what's difficult for me with that is just like I can't it's hard for me to, to differentiate the aesthetics appeal to razor between the actual functionality of it. It's hard for me to look at razor products and be like, okay, this isn't all about just the aesthetics of it. Which probably is what scares me away from Yeah. It's like, well, is it really worth it? Is it really, you know, the money to put in it? Or is it just, you know, the aesthetics appeal of it all? See, see, that's the thing. Uh, was it play tank and it was just sit and taunt and raise and you're good. <laughs> Well, see, for me, like uh, a really good tech, because um, there's a lo there's a lot of different stuff that's out there right now, and like one of the things, like Amazon's been really pushing their Fire tablets, yeah, and they've been trying to push their Fire related items. And to me, I like I don't think that's really a great tablet. I mean, like for a kid maybe, or if you're just reading constantly, yeah. But even then, like I was like really looking through tech stuff today and going like, okay, what can I find? Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that did interest me that I'd have to say, because you were asking like, what's a really technical gift? The most technical gift I ever got from my family in, in my lifetime mm -hmm. was actually uh, me uh, getting a Super Nintendo. Yeah. Like, that is the most technical my family has ever got me anything. <laughs> like, uh, my friends now, like, I got a Razer keyboard last year. Oh, that's nice. So that was kind of more of a technical thing, too. But, I mean, really, there a lot of, like, different ideas out there for, like, that kind of stuff are really difficult, guys. Like, trying to feel like, hey, well... What do you want to like, you know, get? And it's like, for me, it's it's small things that are usable. Like if you go to think dot was it thinkgeek .com, Yeah. You find a lot of cool like, you know, computer stuff that you can get there for like your USB, like a little mini USB freezer for your can. Oh yeah. There was also the uh, the Pokeball portable uh, battery pack. I think was on there as well. Yeah. Yeah, there was. Because you know hashtag nerd. <laughs> And another great item that you guys can get, if you don't already have it, guys, I would definitely say getting a Google Chrome is actually really something useful that you can plug into your PC, turning any kind of thing with the USB port into, like, a portable, you know, Netflix and chill area. You know, I mean, I think that's actually really cool, a cool thing that's out there right now. They even have a new thing called the, uh, what is it, um, the Google Chromecast Ultra, which is basically a disc, but it turns everything into 4K. Hmm. So you can watch 4K TV on everything, which now... It, and like everybody's all about the 4K craze, and the thing that I hate about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll let you continue. Sorry, it's one of those things that I'd like 4K. Like, it was the same thing with like HD. Do you remember the whole thing with like, oh my God, it's HD. <laughs> just, all of a sudden, it was just all about everything has to be HD, and then it was like, Blu-ray. Blu-ray is the best thing ever. Well, I, like, I think it's because they talk uh, about. I think it's because they talk about that kind of stuff, and they go like, they're like, "Oh my God, it's HD." And like, what's funny is that their own, like, their own uh, hubris is like, the, well, the funniest thing about it is that you look at like how they ignored uh, how dynamic light change really helps a game, and everybody's trying to push it so much that year. They're going like, "Oh yeah, you know, we're gonna have like 4K, and it's gonna make games crisp." Like and, and they go like, "Oh no, if you just change the dynamic bigger, light, like, whoa, wait, hold on." If you change the, the dynamic, like, yeah, you get better graphics. So, like, everybody was like, CTOS Pro what? I see if and it was there for years, but they never used it. <laughs> I was just going like, seriously? Yeah. You guys never use this this simple thing. Yeah. This thing right here, of yeah. all things, it's like this thing you did not use. Yeah. And and that's and that's what I find interesting about that. Yeah, it's easily overlooked. Um... Going from 480p to 720p didn't seem like a big difference, but going back, huge difference. That's very true. If you go back and like play the like older type stuff, it's, it's one of those things I think you can just get desensitized to it after a while. And it's like that brings up the other thing, like once you become desensitized to it, does it really matter? You know that's a good that is that is a good way to look at it. I mean, like I think I think a lot of us always try to like during the the Christmas season try to really find like the best tech gift so we can outdo people. So like it gives us an excuse and a reason to like you know uh, get stuff what we want or we think we need or want. 
And to me, I think it's just kind of stupid because most of the times you don't ever get what you want. And I feel like you kind of really lose a lot of He's done this before. CTO sight. Has tagged him as the prime suspect in a high tech. I don't know. I, I think you people so lose sight when they think like, you know, 4K. Community like, service, we were already talking about things evidence. that are higher than just 4K. And they're just sitting there talking about like how 4K is really just amazing. And we, and we need it. Yeah. Shit, I'm I'm sorry, I was looking more at like. What was Those that? Holy TVs. shit! One where you he can went for it. We won't have stuff? much time before the backups yeah. kick in. That just, that to me is cool. Because of, what does that mean for like mobile technology? Hmm. Uh, like, for mobile technology, I would think that a lot of stuff would actually become. Uh, uh, what, what is it I'm thinking? It's like becomes more. Check your corners! You know, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be, it, I don't know, like, like, does that mean we get higher definition, like, screens, or what, what else can we be doing? I don't know, it's, it's one of those things, like, uh, do we reach a point where you can no longer put in, I saw him this way, come on! Uh, He's hit! So realistic, and high defined, that, do you go beyond that? Mm. What, what, like, well, what? I mean, like, the way the screens are right now, I think they, they say native resolution, or, like, they're actually doing that right now, is that, like, there's yeah. screens that are super, like, over-the-top, like, high-definition, when they, when they don't really need to be. Yeah. You know, and, like, and that's... How, now, in the that, like, how does that work with you? Because you're eventually going to be desensitized to it. Does that then play into possible psychological depression of something that you're watching, which is so much more crisp and clear and vivid and vibrant, and then when you go to look outside the window now and it's not reflected in the real world, does that play a psychological imbalance, do you think? Mm, I don't know. That is interesting, though, to look at it that way. Like, how far is too far? I don't know. Man, why? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure this out right now. Like, this game alone is I'm like... I'm asking you so many You're trying to ask me questions. I feel, questions. Like, I feel like this should be, like, one of the main things of, like, <laughs> like do we game? How hard do you game? Like, pretty, pretty damn hard. Um, sitting here trying to figure this out right now. Like, yeah, like, every time I keep trying to get close to it, I'm sitting there like, there it is. All right, there we go. Finally, got it. I shot like six guards while trying to answer your question. I feel like I was not productive at all. I was like, 4K gaming. It's at least 120 degrees in there. That's hot. I know. Oh, yay, server. Give the man props. He's going the mile. I won't lie, though. I am digging this so far. Why would you just sit there? You have the ability to hack from far away. Why would you just sit there? I just think it's funny that I... In 100 degree, 120 degree heat. I know. But I won't lie. I do give this man props. Yeah. Uh, the fact that he hangs around, like, IRC. Uh, I, go, like, I go, IRC still exists, and I keep forgetting that. Like... There are so many things happening on the internet that people do not even know. Yeah, I, I was probably one of the most oblivious people. This is like the secret cow level. Alright, shut down. Where, is it where access? Did I, go? I don't know. I, that's Hi. what I was wondering. Hi! He like just straight up disappeared. We lost a member. I know, I was like, where did Mike go? Mike! Michael! Mikey Boo! Sorry, I'm just being obnoxious now in the sports arena here. <laughs> it's like, what happened, man? Someone comes, they won't see him. Well, I mean, I understand that, but wasn't he like already up in a room, in an enclosed room? I mean, I didn't look paying all that much attention. I was looking at Duncan, but it looked like you were in an enclosed room. I was, I was in an enclosed room. Yeah. But right now, what I'm trying to figure out this is. Uh, uh oh, is that how this works? <laughs> so crazy. I'm all like, well, damn it. Why is this thing working? Complete the circuit. Same thing. 
basically. Just hacking the living, living daylights out of things. I'm just a, a mad hacker. I will say this. I really am actually enjoying this game so far. Yeah. Damn it! What the fuck? Oh, look, they you create right. your character? Or? Yeah, this is where you get to create your character. Oh, yeah. His name's Marcus Holloway. He's 24. His gender is male. Uh, place of birth, Los Angeles. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give that, I gotta give that LA. This is bullshit. Oh, God. And sorry, the sad part is I'm not from LA. I'm actually from OC. <laughs> I wonder I if I, I always wanted to do this, like, like, but I didn't think it would look that cool. So if I went like this, like OC, just go like. Well, no, you would want to be this one because this is the O and then this is the C. Is that? So this would be the C and this would be the O. Yeah. So C and then O, because you gotta realize that they're gonna see the O first and the C. O C. O C. Yeah. Okay. So wait, on their side they're seeing O C. Oh, okay. So that that'd be O C. So. But one of the things I like, you know, as we're talking about computers, I know we're so retarded. We're like, oh, like OC, like. How do we know this? This is like that's probably the most OC thing ever. Like, how? Hold on. How do I throw up? I know. How do I throw up? Like, if I'm in a, if I am in how, like. How do I represent? If I'm no. in a t county territory war, how do I go like OC? Like, is it like, is it like this? Because like for a while I could actually do like. Oh God! Like the, that like weird do, w the blood. You know, oh I could actually do blood, but. Um. Uh -uh. So you know, speaking of PCs. The other thing is, too, guys, is for the people that aren't always gamers, they're always looking for really great deals. And one of the things yeah. that I also noticed, too, is that um, looking at the different types of deals that were out there, they also had a deal for uh, laptops. And which was surprising, uh, it's actually kind of interesting how, how cheap the laptops got, but look, we found one on Amazon that you could buy literally for $150. And it's, it's, it's a very bare basic system. It comes with the, the Chrome OS. Which I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I guess Chrome. you know Google Chrome. Yeah. So Google's just fully like expanding into that that territory. Yeah, I know. Google's is just gonna take over in that whole thing. Yeah. It's funny too. Like the next one after it is like a Dell, and like even that Dell has like, the Dell actually ha carries less uh, processor speed than the one off Amazon. Yeah. But and it carries the same amount of like hard drive and like or like RAM. So if you look right here, like you see, the Amazon one. It's got the same processor, and this is right here, so let me show you right there. Yeah. So here's the Dell one. So there's 1.67, and then right here is the Amazon one. So it's like, this is the far one right here, and this one right here. So then you scroll down, it's same memory, and then you look, and then like, it has, like, one has a rock chip male T74-6 for our graphics. The other one's HTL, so yeah, most, was it, Chromebooks are, like, 150. But, like, this, it's so affordable. You know, yeah. and, like, that's a great way to also give somebody a gift, too, is, like, if you know somebody who's struggling, who's not really reaching out to the internet and not being able to really, you know, like, because a lot of people, the phone isn't the same as you actually being on a PC or anything like that. Yeah. Well, you also have to think, too, like, even though it's, you think that everyone has a computer, and not everyone does, not everyone can afford a computer or, you know, access to stuff like that. There's people who still have to go to the library, and with all the jobs and stuff like that now, everything's all done online. So it's like incredibly hard to get stuff done like that. I agree. I agree. So it's like for that kind of a price, you could easily give a gift to somebody who is kind of hurting. Well, I think I think it's a, it's a really good even for a college student because yeah. they, they they get something that's theirs. Like yeah. I think having ownership over a PC is a lot better. Like that's what, why. I, what was the uh, how old were you when you first bought your very first uh, laptop or, or PC? I've never bought a laptop. Never I've been, I've just been given it. Yeah. Like the gaming one I have right now, just given to me. Yeah. That's that is literally. So you've I like. Ne you've never bought your own. I bought my own computer okay. for years. I've bought my own computers. Like I was like I my first series. I want to say the first thing I actually bought myself was an AMD processor. It was a long time ago. It was like I forget what generation it was. Like when 2.3 was like the coolest thing. <laughs> uh, and then like I had like a motherboard. I think from uh. Asus, because I trust Asus a lot back then, and then I bought some RAM, and I think it was only to play Counter Strike purely just to play it, so I could play Counter Strike. Yeah, yeah. Because at the time Counter Strike had just come out, so I really wanted to play it a lot, and I, I ended up 
joined, I actually joined football because of it. Because my <laughs> really? dad, my dad challenged me, said, if you finish football for Hell Week, I'll give you like this amount of money. And I said, okay, I think that's fine. And I went through it the whole time. And it was just really interesting how I made it through and got my own computer from it and like the parts I wanted just so I could play Counter-Strike. So there you go, kids. You have a dream, go for it. <laughs> and, uh, was it Base Power? Or how, Powler? Prowler? Base Prowler? Hey, how you doing, man? Look at this, look at this. Uh, criminal Record 11. Uh, no, was it Noodle Search Anime Hardcore Purple Hair Elf? Purple credit, Hair Elf? Credit card online order, SDR radio. So he used somebody else's credit card. License plate tracker on, he used it for someone else. Credit card purchase. Farming too. Yeah, he was basically running. He was running people's cards. Quickies. Uh, Fifteen dollars. I don't know if Quickies that done in. Noodle search code three. Dead sec. CTOS exploit. I don't know if I saw that last I part. Just... Alright, hold, right, <laughs> right, hold on. Uh, was it flag scanning for CTOS? Yep. Suspicious purchase? Yep. Exit mode owner? Yep. Traffic stop? Seatbelt violation? Yep. Suspicious purchase? Yep. Traffic stop? Wow. Positive ID? Rio Ve was it Vegans Conference attendee? At Rio. Yeah. Vegans Conference attendee. He went to a conference over in Rio for for being a vegan. Oh my god. Let's stop real quick and show how PC this game really is. <laughs> the fact you went to Rio for a vegan meetup and and hopefully does, does, I mean does the character design kind of not already kind of go with that? Well, I like see I think they're going too PC. Like I'm glad it's a he's like I wish I Mike know. was here. Mike Gone. He is gone. We're lost. He is. We've lost we, we Mike. We lost Mike. Oh god, that is that is painful. I don't even know what happened. So, uh, and, and the sad part is he doesn't even have his phone. I mean, have you the looked? The person who didn't get their Snickers ate him. Like, have you seen his phone? No. Oh, where is it? Hold on. Is it even going this way? I'm trying, I'm trying to show you what this, what his phone has got. Is it dead? I don't know. I, mean, <laughs> I, I like how we just like, hey. Uh, let's play I, th I, think, I think his phone is dead. His phone is dead. He probably went to go get his charger. Yeah. Where does his charger at? He usually just leaves it upstairs. I don't, I don't know, but he, he went to go get a phone. What's your... All right. <laughs> Vegan M&Ms. Vegan M&Ms. Okay. Uh, so, you know, uh, but getting your own computer, guys, is really important. Yeah. What, what was your first experience buying a computer? Well, I bought my very first computer for myself back in uh, 2013. And it was with a laptop, you know? I didn't really know much. I basically went for bare bones because all I needed it for was like writing and job applications and stuff like that. So I think it was like only a hundred bucks. So wow. A little, maybe like a little over a hundred dollars, I think. So, I mean, my experience of, with buying it was good. And also at that point in time, I had, was, I had no idea how to pick out a computer. It wasn't until I got into streaming that I started having to teach myself all about the, the computer stuff. Like up until that point, I was still calling a terab uh, was it a terabyte a trilobite. So <laughs> you called a terabyte a trilobyte? Trilobite, yeah. Wow. Because I couldn't think of the word terabyte. That is horrible. <laughs> you met him. Wow. But wow. I taught myself. I learned. Okay. <laughs> All right, so real quick, I should manually select a new online profile appearance. Which one should I take? Which one does not match me at all? Uh, uh, I'm going to send one person to jail, and it's going to be one of these sad people. Oh, my God, really? Wife, uh, occupation, wife of a billionaire. Wife of a billionaire? Trust fund baby. Uh, stay at home dad. Oh, see? No, you can't do the that's a dad. Social media guru, that's me. Uh, Sells DVDs to Japanese market. Related to famous magician. Prostitute. Man, that guy's just trying to get his hustle on. Like, why would yeah, you... Yeah, you can't do that. Only drinks water. water. Fuck that guy! There you go. Only drinks water needs to go the fuck away. Only You're going to jail, water. bitch. <laughs> this 
gonna drop a little backdoor into the system so I can get back inside later. Song Bloom. You um, got let's see. Hardcore purple hair. <laughs> Uh, only drinks water. Uh, He's heading out. To the Bag. Gulag? Gulag? Only to the Gulag? We got an intruder. Lock down the exit and send someone to check him out. To the Gulagag. No, no, right? Gulagag? Yeah. Okay. While targeting an object, pull to down the hacking module and then press. Trigger object functions. Create proximity trigger. Shut down object function. Okay, I'm gonna shut down functions for a few seconds. Create proximity trigger. So F and C are like those things. Trigger and attract people towards objects. Okay. Hmm. Right. You can do it, don't can you? Can do it. Well, that was not my intention. Cover? Haul ass, Duncan, haul ass! Yeah, I was just trying to open the door. That seemed like way complicated. Come yeah. Up your hands, up. hands up? They're converging on your location. The cool little dots are, right? Security. I'm assuming that's what it is. I don't see any. Oh. Ah! Yep, that's security. Yep. Yep. Ah! This guy shouldn't be here. This guy shouldn't be here. No, shouldn't. Ah! I should not. Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! stories and taking no damage. That's very true. Whatever shoes he want, he's wearing, I want them. One of the most exciting CTOS 2.0 features is the integration of our software into consumer uh, vehicles. There's a lot in this game. Yeah, this is like a lot of we can offer large discounts to responsible drivers. Car owners will voluntarily install CTOS devices to help us under traffic, help with law enforcement, and to provide emergency services. With CTOS 2.0, you can expect less speeding, less traffic congestion, and fewer accidents. And in the case of a major emergency, this person has a list. Can be granted limited control over the car yeah. itself. He's driving me a little bit of insane. It's like, what the fuck? And also, that's actually horrible to freaking name something or you don't have a disability and it's in the world. So it's like, I have a list and it has like, I can't, they can't say that. Down. CTOS does not simply maintain a routine in its first Not only is it analyzing and reacting to data, it will make important decisions based on the of possible outcomes. I don't know. With visibility 
I feel like this alarm has been on for a long time. Why did they call it the police? You think they would, right? Yeah. Is there any way to get out of here, like, without dying? That's a good question. Drop that fool. How long is the electricity? Uh, the I don't know, but I, I'm just, I'm just taking it and going. Like, I mean, if it knocks my, if it's that, if that's what knocks my uh, opponents out, I'm all good with this. We're almost back into the beginning. So we should be able to get the hell out. I don't think I was supposed to go to the beginning. I think I was supposed to go to the bottom over there. Yeah. I'm supposed to reach the bottom of that floor. I still think they think I'm, I think they think I'm up there, so I'm just gonna. I know, I, I just, this is where we're at here. There we go. Right. Wait, where did these guards come from? I know. Right exactly. Help him. Where the fuck am I going? Josh, okay, okay. So he's dead. What? Fuck you, Bloom. Secret ninja, but can't watch this around. Okay. Yeah. In and why did yeah. Chicago yeah. realized Five. the promise of smart cities what? with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion internet of devices things. now really? service collection wow. points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move. Building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Wow. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back That's to marketers. Creepy. Appliances, oh consoles, oh, and so home security yeah. systems give corporations a window uh, into your zero. private life. Hello. Control what up, your how you doing today, and mobile buddy? device can now be breached remotely by anyone Getting at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are so skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark wow. is no longer and thank an option. You so much. We With do appreciate to personal that. Freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Welcome here to the Cyber Insider crew. We do appreciate and hackers you guys have being drawn here. their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. The art direction of this was fucking badass. Oh, yeah, the art direction's awesome. So, am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. <laughs> Why does she have to look like the girl from uh, Mr. Robot? I'm Satara. This no sweetheart idea. is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I love your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's God, wrench. It looks like one of my exes. The needs of the many. I hate to admit it, but that so looks like one horatio. of my exes. What's up, brother? Hmm? You have a type, Amber. Hacker type. The thing is, is he it's was proof, going huh? into coding. So I was just like... Took y'all long enough to come get me. Nah, I love hackers. 
you saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's big brother and little brother all rolled up into one. It looks like I'm gonna end up playing this game uh, before I end up you do finishing Dishonored 2. Uh-oh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, <laughs> or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government, they'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Yeah, fuck it! Fuck it, man! We're hackers. We we out there. We out there. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. What's that look for, Mike? Show everyone what it's just every stare type of hackers I've ever seen in media. Right? How they're just they're so rebels. They're just stupid. Hackers blend in. You wouldn't. Know. Yeah, they do. They're they're your like. See, that's a weird thing about it. It's like hackers are just like these people that you never suspect. And no one bragged about hacking. Yeah, no one ever bragged about hacking. Shit. Because you don't want to get caught, because that shit's serious. Oh, and you know what? Here's the thing. A lot of people... We saw the back door, uh, so we have to what is it? Uh, the movie, uh, Hackers or whatever, there was the, one of the kids, the characters, whatever, you know, hacked... Hey, man. ...some, like, government system at, like, 10 years old. Oh, yeah, man. I that got, got was actually happened by a legitimate kid. Did you know that oh, his Lake company Ford is now Night based run, here in <laughs> Los Angeles? You're running from the cops. <laughs> and that, uh, what is Maybe it? He went to company, it's called, hey, uh, you look familiar. Oh, what, what was it called? It's like, uh, Any Need or something like that. So literally his company, all it Good fucking point. specializes in is if you have the money to pay oh, for it, Oh, that's where it. it just happened. What just happened? He was drunk. This. <laughs> and what happens is... Fuck you, Bloom. Uh, so he drops his phone. This guy picks him up at a late night run. He picks up the phone and then he runs off. He goes, or he picks up the guy's phone. He goes like, oh. He's like, here, let me help you with that. He says, uh, oh, it's a little bit late for a late night run. He's like, possibly. And he's like, you look familiar. He's like, here you go. And just walk and runs off. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Did that really just happen? Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hackerspace. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. What? <laughs> Let's figure it out from the pictures on the phone, I guess. I will say I do enjoy the show Mr. Robot a lot. Yeah, I'm sure oh, it's pretty cool. I did until it stopped being about hacking and all that stuff started being about commentary on society and all and the the frailty oh, of the human psyche and all that nonsense. Oh, I feel like that was always it from day one. No, day one they focused on that legit hacking. No, no, I understand they focused on because legit I hacking, but it was always you know, right along the same line with it was that I actually really love this kind of music. It's just oldies. My parents used to listen to them all the time, so I just enjoy them. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations, so hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. Okay, press to open your phone. Alright, let's see what's on the app shop. Car on demand, five bucks. Driver SF. Scout X. Media player. I want media player. Play songs by Styles or make it your personalized playlist.
song sneak. What is that? My music is playing nearby. Use a song sneak to define song. I think that's kind of interesting how they're just implementing everyday life. You got? Wait, you don't have a camera? Use the front or back camera to take stunning pictures. Wait, is that not on this phone already? Tell me that's not. That is, is that not on? You don't? Okay, yeah, camera's right there. Hold on. Selfies? Wow. That's one. Well, I shouldn't say one thing. There's, I don't understand the rationale of selfies. Like, Man, a lot of the music they have is literally 2009 and 10. Like, this is Crystal Castles. I'm just like, man. Uh, I'll make a gesture. Just Let me make a gesture. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh. Can you take a dick pic? <laughs> I don't know. Can I take a dick pic? Hold on. I mean, you can do selfies. I mean, that's really what it's for, right? Come on, dude. Most dudes aren't just going to sit around taking pictures. So they do pictures with dick. So. Let me be really artistic. Let me let me show you how people in San Francisco yeah, you think right dick now. on a guitar and then take a picture. That's no, 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 no. Just right here. This is art. This is life. Yep. I've literally created the best escaping of cheddar flavoring on popcorn and watching a movie. Now I want to go home and watch Hackers to how ridiculous it was. Funny, oh there's actually a sequel to that movie that's actually realistic. Wait, there's, there is actually a sequel to it? It doesn't have any of the characters from that movie. And it's actually uh. realistic. Really? How long ago was that made? I don't know. Wow, it didn't come out too much longer after the first one. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's cool. Oh, shit. I just messed up my own house. We hacked them. We hacked them. I did, and apparently I just blew up everything in my house. Well, that's cool. Select the apps and then. All right, and with that said, guys, I think that's going to be the end of our show right now. Uh, thank you everybody that tuned in. We'll be back <laughs> next Tuesday. We won't be back thi this Thursday because we're only doing Tuesday shows from now on, from six to eight p.m. So, guys, thank you for everybody for showing up and for being here. My name is Duncan. I am Bonecast. This is Ramblers, or Amber, if you guys know her. And this is... Mike. Hayden Greatness. Just call me Mike. All right, it's Mike. Mike. And guys, we thank you for being here. We'll be back next week. And uh, guys, make sure you're following us on our Twitter, our YouTube. And if you guys missed today's episode, don't worry, guys. We'll have it on YouTube for you guys later. And guys, thank you again for Tell being the here. Tell YouTube channel. Cyber Gear. Is it Cyber Gear on YouTube? Or is Cyber Gaming on YouTube? It's Cyber Gaming. It's Cyber Gaming. It's Cyber... Gaming. It's cyber... Sorry. Cyber, S-Y-B-E-R, gear. It's actually Cyber Gear. Wait. Are you, you just said either or. <laughs> just look up Cyber Gaming on YouTube and hopefully you find the two slashes that are orange and you know that's it. No, it's, it's, it's there. I'm just kidding. Okay. It's Cyber Gaming, oh, guys. You guys can check it out and everything like that. Look at Cyber Gaming. You'll find our, was it YouTube's, of our past episodes. We actually already, we are now up to episode 14. Wow, really? Yeah. Damn. So we're moving up there, guys. So, guys, thank you for everybody being here. Make sure you guys come back. Uh, guys, later this month, we're definitely going to be having some big stuff happen. But until then, guys, thank you for being here, and we do appreciate it. Have a good night.